All right, let's see if this is worth recording here. Just going to do a little minty, or minty, yeah, minty painting. <laughs> no, a mini painting. So I took liquid white on the fan brush here and covered up our little mini canvas and then grabbed some Prussian blue from over here. And we're just going to put that in the sky where some clouds and the weather is happening. This Prussian blue is a darker color. And I've got this canvas taped down to the tablecloth here. So we'll see. I just figured I'd record this real quick in case somebody wants to see how I do these little mini paintings. And then on the bottom, we'll just pull the water straight in. And if you don't get it straight, then close to straight is fine. Same thing from this edge in. Something like that. So we've got water and sky. And now up in the sky, I'm just going to take the white edge of the brush and do some circles to blend it. Just so it's not so intense. That'll soften it up. So you wouldn't even have to do clouds at this point because it already looks like there's little things going on in there. But I'm going to wipe this brush off right here. And then we got this little tiny detail round brush. And shoot. We're going to need... We're going to need a touch of white on our palette. So we'll set that, maybe we'll set it right here next to the red. I don't think we'll be using red in this little mini painting, but that's all right. Maybe we can zoom in. Nope, that just did the brightness. Okay, we'll keep it like that. Mm -hmm. Now, take some thick white on this detail round brush, and we're just going to do some little circly things going on. Something, and then just tapping if you want to. Maybe this cloud comes down here. Live something like, something like so. And maybe get some more because your brush turned blue. Get some more white. Maybe he lives up off the top of the mini canvas. And then at the bottom of these, just do circles. So it softens it. Softens it up. Maybe flip the brush over so you're not painting everything blue. And just little circles. There we go. And instantly you have a nice cloudy sky. And we're going to take, shoot, let's just take this same brush here. And I want to get there's this color called Mountain Mixture, but you can use black if you want. But it's, it's pretty much that color. Black works. You can mix your blue and crimson together. You can do a brown color. I'm just going to take this brush here. Pull it right through that mountain mixture color. And it's so dark that the white on the brush is goodbye. So then, just real quickly, let's say there's like a mountain that lives. Shoot. He lives somewhere right here. Right? And see all the colors are mixing. Colors that are on the, the canvas and on the brush all at the same time. And the more they mix, the softer and quieter they'll get. See that at the bottom? It just disappears almost. And I'm just rubbing, just rubbing it. And so now you got an outline of where our mountain range is gonna be. Wipe that out. Come back over, grab some more black, and we want the top up here to be the darkest. Something like so. 
once again the colors blend as they go down just some more black or mountain mixture whatever you want to call it you can make your mountains as round or as sharp as you'd like them you can make it with the little tiny side of the palette knife if you want there we go there we go something like so maybe we'll do maybe we'll do that we'll grab the grab the palette knife grab just a tiny bit of black on the small side of the knife there and just to give ourselves a a peek here we'll do that and another one there and we'll do that there and then go back over shoot maybe maybe we'll take our blue brush just to soften this out at the bottom and we'll just brush back and forth but keeping the angles and then same thing on this side maybe just pull it keeping that downward angle though oh yeah that looks cool and then I'm just going to pull straight across to soften that bottom up. Now, we got a tiny bit of white. And we're just going to touch. might even have to move my palette a little bit. We're just going to touch and slide. Make a little sound effects if you want to. And there's some snow on that little mountain. Maybe, and see if you're shaky, it actually helps, because you do all these weird little shapes. Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful mountain. And, we're going to take a touch of the blue, blend it with our white, maybe even a touch of the red, blend it with our white, so you have a nice shadow color. Put that in on the back side, if you can reach. Gotta get the knife almost flat. Oh yeah, there we go. Nice shadowy color there. And we'll do it on the back side of this one too. Mm, perfect. Perfect. And maybe just a touch it down there and you just kind of vary back and forth like oh maybe we need another maybe we need another highlight going on it's whatever we want and if you got too light maybe we need some more dark going on kind of show where our peaks are if they kind of lose shape or whatever. Like maybe we'll put the shape right in there. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Put some darks back in there. And come back across with your light. Highlights. And that's a crazy looking mountain range. And if you want, see, so you can just cut it off like that. Come back into your sky and just touch up that corner. So now we got some mountains. Oh, I almost knocked the camera over. <laughs> now. Let's do ourselves some green. Not phthalo green. Let's do some sap green. It's been a while since I've done some sap green. Yeah, just a touch. Just a touch. We're going to grab the same brush we used to shape the mountain. Pull it right through some green. Sap green. So now we'll have a green color. And maybe there's some trees that live 
right back here. I'm just going to kind of put in the base of them. So pretty much just a green smudge across the bottom of the mountain. I'm going to get a little black and mix it with the green. So we got some dark. And I'm getting the brush sharp to where when I press it, it's got a nice point. And then I'm going to put some taller, darker ones. Taller, darker trees here. Oh yeah, just like that. Maybe another one right over here. Another one there. Reload every time your brush gets lighter in color. Go ahead and reload. Then you can get those dark, dark tall guys in there. There we go. And that is going to be a background forest for us. Forest for us. <laughs> and we'll take the same color and let's just pull it down here. This is going to be our reflections underneath the trees and the water. And then, once we've got that, I'm going to come back to this fan brush and just push and pull. Oh yeah, look at what that did. Add some blue into those reflections. Pull across just one time to soften it up. And we're going to need the palette knife. We're going to grab a touch of liquid white that we used to prep the canvas. We're going to start, we're going to touch the corner of the knife to where we want it to start and then we'll begin to work our way across just sawing see that and that creates your little water lines separating your land and your water and you can add little extra things like that in there if you want all right now that's a good little background forest underneath our mountain so maybe now I'm going to need some bigger trees. I'm going to grab some more black and some more green. This time a bit more paint. I'm going to make a big old tall guy over here. He lives almost, almost up into the clouds. And we're just making a, just a line. Let it get thicker as it comes down. It's going to come below our water line there. I'm going to grab some more black. You want this to be darker. Darker than the stuff in the back. How do I remember all this? I don't know. It's a good question. And see if this isn't darker, it'll mix in and become the same, same layer as this one here. So I want those blacks to really show up on this one. I'm just doing left and right pulls. And as I get further down here, I'm gonna pull further out. Like our tree's getting bigger. See that? And he lives all the way down here. Something like so. Now, whoo, almost did it again. <laughs> Maybe we can get a closer view. It's tough when you have your tripod hooked on the back of a rolling chair. <laughs> all right. Now, if you want to, you can just press like this and see what that does. That gives you a nice bushy area. And then we'll just pull down slightly, give us some reflections. And put some bigger, darker reflections right down here. Just like so. And let's do the same thing on the other side. And we'll work on some highlights and finish this little painting up. Maybe this tree is so big that he's, he's hanging in here. See that? He's hanging in, and he comes down the side right here. All I'm doing is just tapping and letting the darks and the lights on the brush happen automatically. I'm just pulling through the green and the black. Go back, put some black up here. Let's put some black up there. Yeah, there we go. Make it darker. And as we get down here, we'll start to push up again. Get those big old bushy things going on. 
and he comes off and covers up the corner just like that and see so we'll have a little water coming down the front there now let's go ahead we're gonna need some dirt so I'm gonna touch a Van Dyke Brown and something something that's always beautiful if you're doing dirt effects especially on large canvases everything I've done here works on any size canvas literally any size canvas all you just need bigger paint brushes and stuff all right so we're gonna grab yeah let's do our highlights first heck heck but I put down a little bit of Van Dyke Brown for when we highlight this we can put the dirt in between the land and the water. We put a touch of yellow right down there. And that should be all we need is just a tiny, tiny bit. Just a tiny, tiny bit. And we'll grab that. And I'm just going to put touches of yellow on this guy, just barely. You don't want to ruin your shapes. So carefully apply and let it get darker at the bottom. And then we'll flip, flip the brush over, press upwards, and keep your little dark areas too. Don't cover every dark spot because that shows a difference in each bush. And then we're going to take some of that yellow and we're going to pull it right down into our reflections. There we go. See that? Instant highlights and reflections. I'm going to grab a touch of the red this time to mix with our yellow. See if we get an interesting color here. And maybe just a touch more. Heck. There we go. Might be a more orangey color. And I'm just going to tap the top of these branches here. I don't want to, I don't want to kill this nice tree. I just want to highlight him, like so. And then we'll rub the brush around. See, this green. That's what I've been working with here. I'm going to grab more yellow, so we can do some green bushes. And there, there's one. Oh yeah. You see I got too much oil, not enough paint. So I'm gonna wipe my brush totally out. Wipe my brush totally out, try to grab some thicker paint there. And let's the thicker paint will give you nicer textures. Maybe here's a bush down here. Something like so. And shoot, let's just Let's just put ourselves a nice red bush right there. And we're all done, just about. All I gotta do is put some dirt. See? Nice little bushes in that corner. Now, we go grab a touch, just a sliver of the Van Dyke Brown on the tiny edge of the knife. And we're just going to scrub it right in between our land and our reflections here. Ding. Like so. Wipe that off. Grab a tiny sliver of thick white, not liquid. I slightly mixed it with some brown. It's hard to see the knife so shiny. But slightly mixed it so it's not a pure white. Just gonna touch there, and I need more white since that's not since that's not coming off of the knife. Oh yeah, right there. And see if you get too much white, you can touch it a couple times, and it'll work itself in there. But that's a little land area. We get a cut of the liquid white once again. Use that corner of the knife to set it down. 
and then cut it in there. Oh, as careful as you can, trying to keep it as straight as you can. There we go. You can put a little ripple if you want. But just that easy. We have a beautiful, see if I can move you here finally. We have a beautiful little mini landscape painting. Those reflections are amazing. I really like those reflections. But all we used was that Prussian blue, the mountain color, which was the black, then the sap green, and then we used liquid white pile here. This was our yellow mixture of red and green, and of course the dirt color. And we end up with this little guy in a quick 20 minutes. Wish I could do a full canvas that quick, but if you got value, consider subscribing, smash the like button, leave a comment below, and let me know what you think, and check the description. Tons of awesome stuff in there as well. Thank you so much.